my alarm rings one hour before my class because it knows that I like to snooze it before I actually wake up. A few minutes later, my wardrobe opens automatically and chooses the best outfit based on today's schedule. My smart home system senses that I'm a bit stressed for today's talk, so it prepares for me tea instead of coffee. And my breakfast starts preparing itself based on my diet schedule that I never really follow. After I finish, my self-driving car arrives and picks me up. So none of what I mentioned earlier has actually happened. But this could be a regular day in the near future. As a child, I was always curious about everything going around me. I asked so many questions and I had a lot of ideas in mind that I was eager to make them happen once I grew up. That's why I worked really hard and I earned a full scholarship to study computer engineering during my undergraduate studies. I chose this major because I felt it was the magic wand that would allow me to transform all those crazy ideas into actual plans. And then I decided not to stop there and to pursue my master's degree and enhance my knowledge further in the field. At that time, I was interested in artificial intelligence and fascinated by all the breakthroughs, but I felt it was too hard or complex for me to work with. It all started when I developed with my teammates a, a project which can detect emotions in Arabic tweets like sad, happy, angry, and various other emotions automatically. We participated in an international competition and won first place. From there, I started believing that artificial intelligence is not rocket science and actually achievable with some work. Artificial intelligence is responsible for so many breakthroughs that we are hearing today, like self-driving cars, humanoid robots, intelligent voice assistants, smart recommender systems, and millions of other applications. AI is the science of machines performing tasks with intelligence similar to humans. It's capable of transforming businesses and drastically improving our work. For me, I always felt the urge to give back to the society and inspire youth, especially in technical aspects. That's why I joined the Beirut AI team, because they shared with me a similar vision. At Beirut AI, we aim to put Lebanon on the AI map globally. We do this by organizing several types of events. We're part of a global community called City AI of AI practitioners all over the globe. At Beirut AI, we host events for technical people who are interested to get their hands on the code. These events get, a glimpse of, get you a glimpse of theory at the beginning, and then people code the actual intelligent models. For people who are not technical and for technical people, we host quarterly gatherings in order for the audience to see how actually practitioners and experts are, are using AI in their work and their research. We also believe that change starts with youth. That's why we developed University Ambassadors Program, where we have ambassadors around universities all over Lebanon. These ambassadors are responsible to lead the AI initiative on their campuses and spread the AI knowledge. At Beirut AI, we aim to create a community, a local community of AI practitioners, where anyone can join, share their knowledge and uh, with the rest. So what is our vision for AI for Lebanon? We believe that Lebanon can be the AI hub of the region. And we achieve this through two main components. The first one is education. We need to have people who can carry on AI projects from A to Z. We have the skilled people, the smart and educated, and we can utilize all the youth, uh, all the youth education in order to practice artificial intelligence. The second component is through opportunities. We don't want the skilled labor to leave Lebanon once they gain the AI expertise. That's why we are planning to raise awareness among so local stakeholders and business people to encourage them to pursue AI in order to enhance their work. Now, I'm not here today to tell you that artificial intelligence is perfect. Of course, like any other tool, it can be used for the good or for the bad. Many people are concerned about AI because they feel that it will make their careers obsolete which is something I totally understand. In fact, by 2025, AI will eliminate 1.8 million jobs. But on the other hand, it will also create 2.3 million new jobs that did not exist before. AI will do the repetitive and the routine jobs, but the routine jobs are not what we are about. 
AI doing all the tedious tasks, we can have time to focus on higher level tasks that require creativity, compassion, and empathy. AI can leverage humanity and leverage both our brain and mind. Now we can choose to sit here and deny its existence, but it's happening, and it's gonna transform businesses, economy, and the whole world. Now it's the perfect time to understand artificial intelligence, how we can protect ourselves from its consequences and how we can utilize it for our good. So I'm gonna leave you with this question. How can you be a pilot in this wave of change? Thank you.